aside from being bad, she also seems to be, um, well, I don't know. I guess the jury's out. She's either an idiot or just a huge liar. And I'm going to go with, well, this also could be just uh, enormously lazy and uh, too self-satisfied. It's probably a combination of all three. I'm not sure if we see all three in this clip, but uh, let's play this clip. This is Aaron Burnett. This is just a day, uh, day and a half ago, I guess. Uh, I've completely lost sense of time. Uh, Aaron Burnett headed down to Occupy Wall Street. Uh, she shot, like, look, we were down there. We saw this guy who's in this clip, actually. He was hanging out when we were interviewing Naomi Klein. He was probably standing a foot from Naomi Klein listening in to our show yeah. live. Yeah. Yes. And um, are there people there who look a little freaky or wearing funny glasses? Or ha Yes. And I would say the percentage of those people relative to the entire size of the crowd is somewhere between 1% and 3%. Um, there's a lot of people there who look, frankly, like, like you, Matt. Are you saying I'm one of those freaky looking people? Or? <laughs> no, I'm saying that uh, you look like somebody who maybe doesn't, who hasn't been out and hasn't taken a shower in a couple of days. Thank you. You've been sleeping outside. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like, you know, a lot I take of people pride in that. Like kids, you know, wearing, you know, a hoodie because that's what they, you know. And um, so here is Aaron Burnett doing this serious report. She goes down there and she, she really fakes out this uh, ad sales guy or this uh, former marketing guy or software, computer software developer. But uh, let's listen to this clip. Hey, seriously? The Occupy Wall Street protest entered its third week today. What started as less than a dozen college students camping out in a park near the New York Stock Exchange is now hundreds of protesters. And it's spread to other cities. But what are they protesting? Nobody seems to know. So this afternoon, we went to Wall Stop. Street to find out. And this Nobody's three weeks into this, she's saying, and nobody seems to know. When was this? This is two days ago, right? Yes. And she's claiming that no, nobody seems to know. She has a very, she apparently uh, has either a very limited social and news circle. You know, I mean, she could have said, like, some people think they have an idea, or there's some places where you can say, but nobody seems to know. Nobody. Three weeks into it. That's stunning. In fact, I think you'd be hard-pressed to find somebody who could actually say, nobody seems to know anymore. You know, I mean, if she had done this three weeks ago. I mean, even that bank CEO who told Andrew Ross Sorkin to get down there seemed to have a better grasp of what was going on That's than, a very good than point. her. That's a very good point. Maybe she should uh, get Andrew uh, Ross Sorkin's, um, you know, uh, Rolodex and call that bank CEO to ask him. All right, let's keep playing. Despite what you heard, here's what I saw. It's not just a bunch of dancing hippies protesting. There are all kinds of people there. Babies, teachers, cheerleaders, Uncle Sampta, and that. Pause Seriously, it. it's amazing. That. She was talking about human being, incidentally, if you're not seeing the picture. But aside from that, um, you see, uh, see the sort of the rhetorical little game she plays here? It's not just a bunch of hippies. There's also a bunch of other freaks and teachers. Right? There's cheerleaders and that and, and teachers. So it's not just hippies, folks. I don't, <laughs> I, want, I don't want you to think I'm judging. It's not just hippies. There's also a bunch of freaks and teachers. Mixed bag, but they were happy to take some time from their books, banjos, bongos, sports drinks, catered lunch. Yeah, there was catered lunch. Designer yoga clothing. Pause it. Oh my God, not catered lunch. You mean people have to eat? Oh, there's a catered lunch as opposed to what? It's not a home cooked meal that they're doing in the park. I mean, there's no Bunsen burners there. No, they bought pizza from across the street or people sent them pizza it's not a catered lunch it's it is stunning keep going i also like how she says banjos like this banjos like she has no idea how to say the word right <laughs> weird instruments <laughs> that's a lululemon logo computers lots of macbooks and phones to help us get to the bottom of it this is unemployed software developer dan 
What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a software developer. Software developer. Yes. So currently employed or unemployed? Unemployed. Unemployed. Unemployed, we like to call it. Unemployed. It's called Occupy Wall Street. So do you know that um, taxpayers actually made money on the Wall Street bailout? Uh, I was not aware of that. They did. Absolutely. They made not on GM, but they did on the okay. on the Wall Street part of the bailout. Okay. Does that make you feel any differently? Well, I would have to do more research about it, but um, if I were right, it might. Oh sure. Pause it. All right. Th- this person is, and, and this is where obviously she's just lying or she's just stupid. Um, and and I would imagine. Uh, and these things aren't mutually exclusive. To be fair, she could be lying and she could be stupid. Uh, she could be willfully ignorant, uh, but she really wanted to go down there and uh, and prove how how clueless these people were. There's no reason to be mad at Wall Street now. GM, on the other hand, you could be mad at GM, but not Wall Street, uh, which I got to say is fairly con- coincidental, because uh, here's a statement uh, by way of. Uh, Will Bunch and Brian Hickey of the local Independence Tea Party and what they have to say about Occupy Wall Street. Because the implication here that she's saying is that bailing out the oh, the, the banks was a great idea. But GM, uh, we didn't make any money on that. But wonder where she got that concept from. Wonder where she got that sort of like um, that. I don't know if I would call it a talking point. The idea that Wall Street is the root of all evil is also an anathema to us. Like any other institution, Wall Street has its corrupt figures, and such individuals should be dealt with accordingly. But to condemn Wall Street en masse is akin to condemning our entire free enterprise system. Our association deplores corporate bailouts. GM. They're talking about GM. Hmm. Corporate subsidies, Solyndra, <laughs> and corporate welfare. Now, of course... We know that Solyndra and any solar subsidies are literally 2% of all the subsidies we give to uh, energy, whether it's uh, $50 billion for nuclear uh, power, for uh, uh, another uh, $10, 20000000000 billion for um, uh, coal, and another $10, 20000000000 billion for oil subsidies. But it's the five hundred thousand dollar loan, or the uh, one point five million dollar loan to Solyndra. That was the big problem. At the same time, however, we recognize the contributions and achievements of America's Chamber of Commerce. I, I, she's parroting uh, the uh, talking points of these uh, Tea Party people. I guess that's not to be surprised. But uh, but uh, let, let's keep playing with this uh, this video. Seriously. That's all it would take to put an end to the unrest. Well, as promised, we did go double check the numbers on the bank bailout, and this is what we found. Yes, the bank bailouts made money for American taxpayers right now to the tune of $10 billion, anticipated that it will be $20 billion. Those are seriously the numbers. And this was the big issue, so we solved it. In fact, the only reason we haven't made all the TARP money back is actually GM. But I don't see any protests in Detroit. So there it is. Uh... And GM probably, we're, I think we're going to see uh, the money. In fact, I think if you look at market capitalization, we probably have made money. We just haven't sold all the stock in there. But that's aside from the point because she conflates bank bailouts with TARP. Yes, TARP was one element of the bank bailouts, but there was TALF, which is that uh, short-term asset-backed uh, back securities loan facility, which essentially – There was a whole series of different instruments that allowed banks to borrow money from the Fed at 0% interest. And then what they did is turned around and loaned that money back to us at 1, 2, 3, 4% interest by buying U.S. Treasury bonds. So in other words, and we've talked about this many times, Matt, let me borrow $10. Okay, you give me $10. And you come to me and go, hey, uh, can I borrow $10? Sure can. Just give me $11 tomorrow. You give me that $11, and then I give you back the 10 that I borrowed from you, and I have a buck. And I've just made a buck off of you, Matt. And you, in this instance, you are the taxpayer. 
apparently, Erin Burnett, didn't she work on, like, CNBC? Didn't she work for, like, some financial channel? She couldn't figure that out. We also know the billions of dollars that was sent uh, to AIG was basically a slush fund for other uh, banks, particularly Goldman Sachs. We also know that we allowed the Bank of America to sell a bunch of their crappy uh, mortgages to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. So there's anywhere, I mean, uh, the figures range from anywhere from like $1.5 to $3 trillion that have been spent on these bank bailouts. So the notion that it didn't cost any taxpayers any money is ridiculous, but that's not even relevant anyways. Because even if the bailouts cost no money, even if we made $10 billion on the bailouts, we still have a completely broken financial system because of the excessive leveraging and speculation these banks did, and it has destroyed the economy. There are, depending on how you calculate it, over 20 million people unemployed. There are millions of people whose mortgages are um, underwater. There are millions of people who have been subjected to mortgage fraud. There is ongoing mortgage fraud. So forget about the bailouts. Wall Street ruined our economy. Ruined our economy. The financialization of our economy is ruining our economy. The income disparity is ruining our economy. But Aaron Barnett found it more convenient to just reduce it down to, do we make money on TARP? <laughs> 